based on our data, we can say that people lose more weight with um, GLP-1 medication compared to the medications that were available before, but they also regain the weight faster. What I was surprised by is that after drug treatment, the rate of regain is much faster than we see after regular dieting, um, faster than I would have expected. We don't know exactly why that's the case, but what I would speculate is that when you're um, having a dietary program, you have to work really hard to control your appetite. You have to learn strategies to help you resist food. You have to really focus on how you're going to overcome your urge to eat, your drive to eat. If you're taking a drug, then these drugs are very effective appetite suppressants. So the drug does a lot of that work for you. And therefore, I think that when you stop taking the drug later, you perhaps are, you know, almost taken by surprise, but it, it's much harder to, to control your weight than, than you expected. <laughs> Uh, people's weight regain was not different depending on whether they were provided support during the treatment or after. So weight regain was the same regardless of what support was provided alongside the medication. As people regained the weight, the improvements in cardiovascular outcomes also were lost. The evidence on how weight loss impacts other conditions is really only just beginning to emerge because it's only relatively recently that we've had such effective ways of people losing uh, losing weight. So I think it's too, it's too early, but we would expect that successful weight loss will improve a whole range of other conditions, but those trials are mostly yet to be done. We know in the case of diabetes, that successful weight loss is very effective at reversing diabetes, particularly uh, for people who've been relatively recently diagnosed. So typically people who lose 15% of their body weight, which is regularly achieved in people taking these uh, new GLP medications, around about 85% of people can expect to go into remission from their diabetes. They haven't been around long enough for, have, for us to have that long-term follow-up data when people stay on them. So we aren't sure whether you just continue to lose weight, it begins to plateau. I think those are all things that will come out in the next couple of years. I think this is a very first look at what happens when medication stops. And what it tells us is that we need to concentrate even harder on how we better support people, either when they come off the medication um, or whether we need to continue this long term for some, for some people. And those are really questions that haven't yet been adequately answered. Thank you.